So now we will discuss LC oscillations. See here LC oscillations is actually electrical oscillations similar to the mechanical oscillations which we have already done in 11th standard that is a mechanical oscillation and simple harmonic motions. Now see here in LC oscillations what happen here? First we take a capacitor and inductor both are connected together and here initially capacitor is fully charged. So, fully charged capacitor is taken which has got the maximum charge suppose let it be Q. As it is connected with the L and this switch is closed suppose the circuit is completed. As the circuit is completed charge in the capacitor is start de starts decreasing that means capacitor starts discharging. Because of the decrease in the charge current is start flowing and it increases with the time as the current increases in the inductor e EMF is induced which opposes the increase in the strength of the current. Because of that here energy is stored in the form of the magnetic field energy and here the energy was here actually the electrical energy. Formula for the electrical energy is that is here we can write U E is equal to half epsilon naught E is square where E is electric field. So, initially capacitor has got the maximum energy that is U E is equal to half epsilon naught E square as capacitor starts decrease uh, discharging, electrical energy start reducing and what happen here that the magnetic energy start here to a storing here. And when the capacitor is fully discharged all electrical energy gets converted into magnetic energy and that magnetic energy is written here U B is equal to half here we can write L i square here we can take L i naught L i naught square. As the capacitor is fully discharged here, then what happened? Inductor starts discharging because of that again the charging of the capacitor starts here and but here the polarity is opposite to the previous one. So, by this way here the capacitor keeps on discharging electric this inductor keeps on charging here and when the inductor discharges capacitor charges every time polarity of the capacitor changes here. And this type of oscillations are known as LC oscillations and in this one actually charge is oscillating or we can say the current is oscillating here. In this case in this circuit actually initially when the charge has got the maximum value in capacitor we can write here according to Kirchhoff's rule Q upon C minus L D i upon D t is equal to 0. As charge decreases so, I increases and we can write I is equal to minus d q upon d t. We put it here, we will be getting q upon c minus l this is plus d square q upon here d t square is equal to 0. We can write here d square q upon d t square plus here we can take l common here 1 upon l c q by q is equal to 0. We can compare this is here with the equation uh, mechanical oscillation d square x upon d t square plus omega square x is equal to 0. Here omega was here the angle of frequency. Similarly, here this is similar to this quantity. So, we can write here omega square is equal to 1 upon L c and here omega square is equal to 1 upon L c and we can write omega is equal to 1 upon under root of L c. We can also write in this case nu is equal to that is 2 pi nu is equal to 1 upon under root of L c and nu is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root of L c. So, natural frequency of L c oscillation in this circuit is given by here. If this circuit has no resistance the magnitude of the energy keeps constant that remains constant with the time. And now here this one and we can also write equation for the charge here that here q is equal to q naught cos omega t plus phi. Here we can take phi is initial phase. This is the charge is given here charge is actually varying according to this equation here with the time. So, we can get current also from here from this charge and we can write in this case we can differentiate actually to get the charge. So, we can write I is equal to minus d q upon d t. So, I is equal to 
minus, here we can take also minus q naught sin omega t sin omega t into omega if I take phi is equal to 0 initial phase. So, now we can write here this is already here this minus and the cos this one is also here the minus. So, we can write i is equal to q naught omega sin omega t. So, we can write i is equal to i naught sin omega t and where i naught is equal to q naught omega this is the maximum current. So, we can get the current in LC circuit by this way and we have also seen how does electrical energy changes to magnetic energy and magnetic energy is taken changes into electrical energy. This process continues itself and if there is no loss of energy amplitude of the energy remains constant with the time.